I'm looking at exercise 9K, question uh, 1C. I started off using quotient rule for this one, so I let u equal to x to the power of half, and then v equals this. I found v dash, I found u dash. Using quotient rule, uh, finding, yeah, that should be right. Multiplied, so I think what's interesting is then from this step here, this is essentially what will be the problem. So you've got x plus 1 all over 2 root x minusing root x. Well, uh, is that right? Yeah. Well, in this case then, uh, I would probably try to combine these two fractions uh, by multiplying top and bottom by 2 root x. Have I done that right? Let me just double check. Yeah, that should be right. And then this gives me what? x plus 1 minus 2x, isn't it? Root x times root x, yeah. And then on the bottom should be 2 root of x divided by 1 plus x squared. So this works out to be what? x minus 2x is negative x plus 1 all over 2 root x times by 1 on 1 plus x all squared. So my answer seems to be what? Negative x plus 1 over 2 root x times 1 plus x all squared. I think that's how it is, isn't it? Let me just double check that I've done everything right. So u is x to the power of half, so u dash is half x to the power of negative half, which is the same thing as 1 on 2, good. So v u dash, okay, I've got that there. Uh, and then minus uv dash, yeah, and then to add or subtract the fractions, I would need to multiply 2 root x, so that becomes 2x, yeah, I guess so, and then x minus 2x plus 1, and then divide, so, yeah, I don't know, I feel like that would be my answer there, um, I'm not sure what the answer is. Let me just check the answer in the back. Oh, they had a slightly different answer. They had, what, two? Yes, yeah, same. Oh, but somehow they got rid of the root. They have a negative power on the top. Uh, how does that work? The only way for it to work is if you, what, times it by root of x, top and bottom? If you did do that, you would get now negative x to the power of 3 on 2, half plus 1, yep, plus root of x all over, and the x's cancel out. So that becomes 2x1 plus x squared. And then uh, I guess you can divide each term by x. So minusing 1 gives you negative x to the power of half. This is already half. So x to the power of half divided by x again, so half minus 1 is x to the power of negative half, all over 2 bracket 1 plus x squared. Is that what they got? Oh yeah, wait, is it a minus or a plus? Yes, that is correct, oh, okay. So for just, uh, I, I guess I just figured out what the they did in the answer there. They got rid of the square root, so the rational, they rationalized the denominator, so I just times it top and bottom by root of x. Uh, so this entire bracket multiplied to root of x, 
and that will then give you essentially in this line this should have been x to the power of half which is root x and then uh, the x root x times root x is just x and now you can um, essentially isolate it and say you can find a common factor of these three terms and they all have an x so all I did was I divided them I said okay so well, negative x3 over 2 when you divide that if you just isolate it that becomes 1 on 2 1 plus x squared you see that expression does not change both of them are the same but here I can when you divide you subtract the powers and that's to the power of 1 so when you subtract the power, it becomes negative x to the power of half plus, and then half again minus 1 over here, that should give you negative half. And so that's your that's your term there. Uh, but that's that's what I did there, okay? And, and so once I simplified the x's, that was your last line was the answer in the textbook. But uh, like I said, um, when you're doing these in the exams, it won't be that ambiguous, I'd say, as long as you can get up to this step to leading to a simplified answer, which may be even this step, that's good enough. You can probably leave your answer as this, and that's okay. Okay.